Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And uh, I was doing a review of all my videos and the questions I'm getting asked the most is around certifications, uh, specifically cybersecurity certifications. So I thought about making this video. Now, as you can see, cybersecurity spending is still going strong. Jobs are there. The competition is very, very tough. The job market is very, very tight, but jobs are also there. And one of the first things that usually people do, you know, they want to uh, get certified so they can show to the potential employers. I'm not a big fan of doing certification after certification, but you do need to have like uh, at least some certifications to show that you are qualified, right? And the questions I'm getting asked the most is around these three certifications, which is the CISSP, CISM, and CRISP. Basically, people don't know when to do which and which is better and which will help them the most in their career. And like I always said, it's not about which will help you most. It's about what your career is. You should first define your career path and then decide what certification you have to do. What people do is they do certifications first and then they worry about what what like what like career should I choose in cybersecurity, right? And that's a mistake. And that means you waste, you'll potentially, you'll waste a lot of money. So let's talk about these three certifications I want to compare and which will which is the best for you based on your career choice, right? Which Which you should take. And before we move ahead, please do like and subscribe to this channel, guys. I talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security, cybersecurity career advice, and AI risks. So let's take a look. Let's take a step back. The CISSP. Now, the CISSP, it has been around for quite a while. It has a very, very good reputation within the industry. If you're not familiar with this, it's by ISC2. And I think, like I said, it's easily the most famous cybersecurity certification. It's not a beginner level cert. You need like five years of experience in eight domains, which I'll talk about, and it's four hours. So it's basically, it's a technical and a managerial knowledge. It covers both uh, topics, you know, and you, you need to really demonstrate, like it's called like a mile, mile a mile wide and an inch deep because it covers so many topics, but it is one of the best certifications to have within the industry. And really, if you want, if, if you want to move to a position, which is like a, both which has both aspects of technical and managerial like a cloud security manager like a head of SOC the CISSP is amazing for those, those sort of positions right and these are the domains it covers you can see I'm not going to read them out honestly speaking they're freely available but it covers everything as I said from security risk management to IAM to security operations and software development so it's a very very broad spectrum it covers pretty much every field that you can think about within cyber security the CISSP will cover now, the next one is the CISM. This cert is maintained by ISACA and it focuses more on management and strategic oversight. So it doesn't focus that much on technical. It is more management focus. And if you're inclined to be strategic and focusing more on the managerial side, this is the certification for you. Like I said, it, it also needs five years work experience, not a beginner level cert. It has four domains and it is also four hours. And it is a very good certification to have, especially if you're a CISO, if you're a head of cybersecurity, if you're more involved, I've known people who are the head of risk, you know, see uh, chief risk officers and those sort of, who are responsible for looking after cybersecurity. These people may not be technical, but they need to have like a strategic knowledge of cybersecurity. The CISM certification is great for that. And these are the domains you can see security governance, risk management, security program development, incident management, right? As you can see, most of them are very, very high level and strategic in nature. The third one is the C-Risk, right? And this focuses more on uh, the risk management side. Again, this is also maintained by ISACA, but it focuses on risk management. Now you need to have three or four years of experience in IT risk management and IS control. Again, not a beginner level certifications and it covers four domains. This is for people who want to move into governance, risk and compliance, or maybe you're coming from a finance background. Maybe you're coming from an auditing background. Uh, maybe you're coming in from an operational risk background or a credit risk background. You want to move into cybersecurity. You, so you want a bridge where you can use that existing risk knowledge and get a certification, right? Which teaches you about IT risk management and it, you don't have to be technical. So again, this is a non-technical certification. Uh, so it covers things like, as you can see here, governance, IT risk assessment, risk response and reporting, uh, um, um, information technology and security. So these are the like areas that the series covers. Now, this is where, unfortunately, not giving you like a basic level of understanding 
about this certification this is where people get start getting confused right this is the questions i'm getting asked like which should we do and what certification i should choose so let's take a look one by one right first of all let's talk about the difficulty uh, so what is easier like i've said before it depends on a lot of factors it depends on what your background is right uh, your study habits and what career focus and honestly both of the all three of them they are not beginner level certifications okay these are not none of them are easy certifications but it depends a lot on your background if you have a stronger technical background you will find the cissp technical domains like encryption networking to be very easy and more familiar and on the other side, if you have a management background and you're not that hands on CISM will be easier. If you have a finance or a GRC or a risk background, then C risk will be uh, uh, more easier for you. So difficulty is, you know, a little bit subjective, but the general consensus CISSP is considered to be the most challenging simply because it covers so many topics, right? You need to have a much better understanding of these uh, areas. And the CISM and the CRS, the both of them are challenging, but they are not as difficult as the CSSP. So, but you still need to prepare. And you, as you can see, they, had, they all of them have uh, experience requirements, which you need to uh, think about. So think about your background, where you're coming from, and I'll show you. I'll show you like which background maps to which certification. So the cost, like the cost is easy. I mean, all of them are quite expensive. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't say none of them are cheap. Easily breaking the 600, 700, I think 700, most of them are. Yeah, if you have a membership, then uh, some of those things get reduced. I would recommend not doing this if you're starting out in the industry. If you have, because anyways, you're not gonna get these certifications, right? They will, you need to have an experience requirement. But if you are starting out, I would recommend uh, doing like a beginner level certification like the CompTIA Security Plus. Do not do this if you're starting out because the cost will be quite high. I would recommend if you're working already, please get your employer to reimburse. Talk to your boss, talk to your employer, talk to your HR department, get these reimbursed because they are quite expensive. And then you need to pay the annual maintenance fee, right? That's why I always say, please do not do certification after certification because then the cost really piles up and it, it puts a dent in your wallet, right? So try to find a, none of them. Uh, none of these are cheap certifications, just to be very, very clear. And whatever fees I tell you, they'll probably increase it within one year or something like that. So keep that into account. Uh, What's the, the the market value? The market value is easy. All of them are very, very good recognized certifications. None of these are like bad for you. CSSP is the oldest and the most recognized certification. It has a very, it's like considered to be a benchmark for cyber security. CISM, they introduced it as a competition to the CSSP, but it is also again, very, very popular. And it's frequently like a lot of CISOs and a lot of uh, what do you call CROs uh people they use it as uh, like people who want to move to a CISO position they use it as a like transitioning to higher level management roles by using these certifications the serious again serious is more from the risk side and it is also it has a very good demand if especially for G, grc roles you know consultancies the big four like where you're auditing maybe you're, you're going into a, a tech consultancy where they want people who have good knowledge of uh, risk management the serious is definitely very very good all of them have very good salary potential so none of them are like uh what if all of them are like among amongst the top paying certifications it will help your career but like i said you need to first understand what your career is so let's this is what i wanted to talk about the most which is suitable for you right which is which maps most to your long-term career goals so let's take a look the cssp choose cssp if you are a cybersecurity certificate professional already with some years of experience and you want to go you want a cert that will cover both technical and managerial you want to become like a security architect a SOC manager head of cyber security right a cloud security manager and later on you want to move into executive security roles because it gives you a very very broad and deep knowledge of cyber security it's very it's very much recognized within the industry you cannot go wrong with the cssp if you want to make a long-term career in cyber security for CISM, if you want to manage or aspire to become like enterprise level, you know, become a CISO and you want to focus on security governance, how to align security for business objectives, budgeting, leading teams, creating cyber security awareness programs. And you really want to move to a senior position like information security manager, a CISO or director of security, you know. So CISM is more definitely moving uh, up the up the level to a more senior level positions. And the serious 
is you if you want to work in IT risk management and you really want to you find risk management very industry interesting you want to become an auditor you want to manage risk assessments controls and you know how the governance risk and compliance works you want to become like a risk manager or a compliance officer or a GRC manager so that is where you want to focus on and get the that the serious certification so the conclusion is serious it's ideal if you want to focus on risk management IT controls CSSP you want to have a broad technical and managerial role in cyber security see some if you want to move to more security leadership roles right so it again very very important to keep these things in mind before doing the certification not after so supposing you wanted to like uh, become like a technical lead right and you did the cisf it doesn't really map or uh, you have no interest in risk management or uh, you have no interest in grc and you did, go, went ahead and did the c risk so this would like not tally with your long term career goals so remember always have your career plan first and then decide what you want to do and also remember certification will open door but nothing will replace your experience you need to get that hands on experience and you know create your own brand and make sure you work on projects it is a combination of uh, like knowledge certification experience that will take you to like a really good position within your career so i hope this was easy to understand and i've managed to like all of this was my subjective opinion but please do like and subscribe to this channel if you found this useful and i'll see you in the next video thank you